against Dumpy. What an honor it is to bring you guys the first match of Championship Sunday, version one versus Face Plan, and the storylines that are emerging here are eternal. Immediately kicking things off is Typical. Typical's moved away from his XO1 that was so effective for him in the past. He's back in the Fennec, and I think in any car in the game, he could have put that one away. It's just a simple chance of face plan, but that will settle their nerves. I mean, we just started five seconds in. Phase plan already off to work in version one. Need to focus up on these pickoffs. Another one going in favor of phase plan. And typical in first cut, a first killer, I'm sorry. A little miscommunication off that back wall. It seems that Phase Plan took out nine months of frustration on Falcons in their 4-0 demolition of them the other day. They weren't the favorites going into this one, into that one, sorry, but I think they'll sure be the favorites now. Four of our five desks predicted Phase Plan would take this one, and they have been so good peaking at the right time. Phase have found their footing, uh, as you said. They're at Worlds. They've, they've managed to have a couple of wobblies when they're going through some majors in regionals. They've won one of them previously. At Worlds, they have found an incredible place. And, you know, that comes down to Roldis as well. Just that, that management is surreal. Yeah, there's no better time to peak for FaZe Clan. And on the biggest stage, they're the top three. And, I mean, so many stats. We're talking goals per game, shots per game, assists per game. Pretty much every stat in the game, FaZe Clan is putting themselves up there. And right there, another demo on board. Could it feel past the oh. Can't find the angle. Beast mode and Com trying to combine, which is exactly what you want to see if you're a version one fan. And this is a team that have history of their own. They brought in Beast Mode. Suddenly, they've become a top three North American team. But to me, spearheading them, the man that they're turning to for experience is Torment. He was part of the greatest lower bracket run in RLCS history. Been taking down any team at that point was a feat in of itself. But going through that lower bracket, Torment then beating Dignitas alongside Squishy and Gimmick. Gimmick, formerly on version one as well, but making way for the young Beast Mode taking down that Dignitas. It was something that was surreal. And it comes down to Beast Mode, that young man we mentioned, to try and go up against Typical today. But he's got that experience. This pressure will not knock him. Well, version one is starting to grow into this one. Beast Mode's getting on the ball. He scored eight of the nine goals that they got last. Oh. They could be their first for version one here. Good defending from FaZe Clan, and that is what Roldis has really brought to this team. But I love that offense that we saw from Beast Mode there. Gets two oh. defenders to go. Big bump on the back line in FaZe Clan. Up by two. Right now, we've seen FaZe Clan go undefeated in games where they score first. They're currently 7 and 0, oh, so not looking good for V1 if they want to get the first one in this best of seven. It's looking great for Typical, though. He is on cleanup duty right now for FaZe Clan, doubling up their lead with a few bumps ahead of him to clear the path. Could be a third one. This could be a beauty from first color. Whenever he takes to the skies, we expect something's happening, but typical. He ain't too bad either off that far wall. Version one have shaded this one with, with territory, but face time, their counter attacks looking devastating. Yeah, and you can't talk about typical without mentioning how consistent he's always been. You talk to the pros about typical, and they always say, oh no, if he sees an open net, rarely does he miss. But throughout the season, had a few issues. His AJ gets the flip, reset, oh. goes under the defender. Mechanics on full display for FaZe Clan. AJ's inaugural goal on Championship Sunday, taking an underneath one, and then Beast Mode going for that pre-jump. Knows that AJ could pop it or go low, but coming in from that far post, he just has to gamble. Gets a touch, but not convincing enough to keep it out. In any other team, AJ would be the mechanical play. You take your eye off him for a second to focus on first killer, and there he is, coming from that wall. He can do anything. Such a good player, 1v1, 3v3, whatever it is. He can put pass in as well. Oh. He wants to get the no! top. No! It's fourth, a flourish for face plan. Through the entire defense of version one, I love every player getting involved. And you see Torment had to respect that jump from first killer and perfect shot placement between typical. Every single one of version one jumping up, trying to get to that bait ball. Face plan being able to slip it in despite that pressure. Huge shooting from them. We're halfway through game number one on this Sunday, and it's 4 0 phase. How have they done it? Aura is becoming their lucky number. I mean, the fact that they swept Falcons in a best of seven, I think it was 6 1 in the penultimate game as well, after Falcons' timeout. This team have become something else entirely at these World Championships. Torment, though, is going to put this one over. Oh. First killer, he's there on the goal line. Again, they oh. defend well. And look at the clear towards Typical. It might oh be my. five. Oh. Come on, to scamper back and save it. It's just so dangerous when FaZe Clan are having the transitions that they do. But hold the phone. Beast uh. Mode has the ball, but lets that one get away from him. 
phase plan with an easy cleanup. And typical, no boost left in the tank, torment to the back wall. The missed touch from beast mode on that attack, a, a rare chance for him to go for a shot and he just does not take it. His goal participation has been gigantic for version one. Like the last series they played, he had 100%. Oh. Through the tournament, he's rocking in first place. 81% goal participation. Beast Mode, he is that spearhead cult that you were talking about, but Face Pan, they are an armory. Yeah, they are, and they never slow down either. They know they've 99.9% .9 of the first time got this first game, but still they want more. They want to make these statements. They don't just want to beat version one. They said in their interview beforehand they were confident in doing that, but on top of that, they want to make other oh, teams fear that. them, and they are looking fierce oh, as the passes come raining in. AJ on the backboard, he gets an early flip reset. Brilliant ideas, no goal this time. I, I'm such a fan of the unselfish play that we're seeing from FaZe Clan. It started off with that back, back pass, I'm sorry, from First Killer, then it turns into an infield. It's just so beautiful how all three members are getting involved. First Killer can't find it. AJ gets denied in beast mode, trying to push this ball forward. 30 seconds remain here. Seems as though FaZe Clan gonna take game number one. And the high aggression for them doing spectacularly. The rotation's back, so then they don't get counter-attacked have been on point. They've not allowed many openings whatsoever, and any that they have, version one, just haven't taken them a chance. So for being oh. too far, does not manage to find its way in the top corner, denying version one. Credits to version one, though. They're pushing to the end, getting these passes going, and getting Beast Mode oh. involved. Got oh. three jumps somehow, still safe by First Killer. How does he always find himself in the right place? That one, is it going to be a little bit heavy? It's actually a great fake there from typical involved again to the end. V1. One more chance for V1. They do take a goal into game two. That will wake them up. It absolutely will, and no better player for version one to see that ball hit the back of the net other than beast mode. He has been instrumental in their success this season. 81% goal participation this weekend. If you want version one to be successful, he's got to get on the board. But first, they have to limit the amount the phase plan is pushing into their own half. But do you think the phase plan are going to give up an inch of the territory that they have gained? Not on Roll Diz's dime. The way that he has come into this team and he is managing them, he's giving them that amount of confidence to play, as you said, Subi, unselfishly. We've said this for a year now. Just play unselfishly, and then you become one of the best teams in the world. That's how they want a regional. That is how they're here. And it comes down to first killer, as far as I'm concerned, just to take away any of the ego from the others. He is the one on the side. Well, we have started off in the mobile performance, mobile one, sorry, high performance replay, which we watched below there. That finish there from Beast Mode, a beautiful one. And I think that version one needed that. It's good to see Beast Mode so high up on that scoreboard as well. But this is where it begins, the biggest day in Rocket League Esports history. Are we here for it, everybody? We had question marks, right? When we were talking before the series began, we were thinking, who is actually the fan favorite, though? Mm. Because we, I thought I thought Face Clan seen a lot of red shirts. But then version one, my word, they have got T-shirts everywhere. They're writing in the sky. There was yesterday <laughs> an army marched on Dickie's arena. And, you know, we see Rold is sitting there on screen. And I was talking to him last night at midnight. He met up with First Killer just to talk to him, just to calm him down, give him words of advice. and. I think that has been the difference maker for FaZe Clan. They had the cogs to the machine. They just needed that extra gear to get it all working in motion. First killer, the former prodigal son of Rocket League Esports as well. It seems it's his destiny to win a world championship like this one, and he's looking every bit a world championship MVP so far since he's been playing here. But it's version one who started this game the better. A goal, a lead for them could be massive. Com gets it, he's on the score sheet. Com, at the end of the last game, looked pretty dejected. He knew that there was more that they can offer. And the pass to me across from Beast Mode, Com is able to sink it past two defenders. He made a tweet saying that he was angry at the start of yesterday, and that's what led them to that victory over SSG. Com is harnessing his anger, and he's looking all the better for it. Well, for me, this entire weekend, Com has been very, very quiet. And I, I was speaking to his dad last night, and I said, you know, Beast Mode popped off yesterday. It's your boy's turn, and, and he agreed that, you know, he could have a huge showing here. And so far, involved in both of versions one's goals, as that shot so close, and none other than Calm gets the save, and yet again get a save oh. as AJ keeping it alive for phase plan here. Version one are gonna have to do a lot of defending, just as they did earlier on against NRG in that 4-0. Beast Mode has a pass in the center for Calm, but takes the touch, it pulls the torment, up to the sky he goes, AJ closing it down so quickly. He's good in defense as well as attack phase clan, but version one have this lead. And that's lovely. AJ letting it fall to typical, but typical is closed down by Com. This is still more good chances for oh. version one. 
base plan do look pretty comfortable though, despite this B1 pressure. Beastly managing to get the reset on that shot as well. Wanted to use it to try and go for something offensive, but instead he just resets back to the wall. AJ trying to swipe in behind Com. The Beast made there to defend once again. Com from that back wall goes to the right hand side, intercepted by first killer, rockets it across towards AJ. Base plan still trailing by one with a minute and a half gone. They're definitely growing into this game, man. Uh, exactly. That's exactly what I was about to say. I really enjoy how version one have come out here in game number two. And you can tell they've completely forgotten about game number one. They don't let it get under their skin. They realize it's a long series to be played. They're going to lose a few games here and there. It's all about the response. And the response oh. has been crucial here as version one keep this ball alive in the corner. Torment out of the corner gets flipped reset as two go for phase plan. They're down a man. Beast mode keeping it alive gets a boost deal. But first killer going to slow it down. And still, version one keeping this ball alive and a great offensive push here. The demo is coming in as well for phase plan. They're wanting to remove as many players from version one as they possibly can. It's going well. They're shutting down the offense as and when it is flying towards the orange side of the pitch. Typical so like this one. Just go onto the top of his car, try and find first killer. Plus, not quite working right now for face, but that touch from AJ could change things. He's trying to dance around it, beast mode. He's up there quickly to close him down. Well, now onto the corner. Torment up so fast as well himself. First is coming in. The touch is all oh, quite nice perfect touch. for face clan, whereas they were in game number one. Two minutes 20, Beast Mode working out of that corner. Does not opt to go for that flip reset since Thorson was challenging him, so he just has to punt it a bit further. First going to go high, but typical with 100 boost, can't get up yet. Finally, he is in the sky solo, takes it to the left hand wing, manages to flip it around with a zero boost. He's going to try and go for a boost deal, then a bump, but neither were available to him. And plenty of space given to first killer, but Tom takes that one away. And version one, great answer here after that push from phase plan, but midfield seems to be all phase plan right now, looking to get boost deals, get boost grabs. I feel like the passes just aren't quite there for phase plan this game. Typical got so many simple goals in game number one, but version one, they're closing them down so much better, leading to chances like this. They do have boost, they just have to get full control of the ball, and maybe that touch from Com is going to tee it up. Who's in the center? It's Beast Mode a little bit further back than he would have liked. Oh, he can't get it back to oh. Calm, who can't quite get the return. Really echoes of game number one where that back and forth pass coming in. Beast Mode, though, still unable to go for the second. Torment passing back. Oh, Calm, yes. Look at him. Oh, big those demos. There's that experience, though, from Torment. Big bump. There he is. Thank you, second. The bumps are raining in. Face can have to deal with this right now. They've done the first step. Get the ball towards first killer. AJ catches a lovely pass to Sipical. Is the second one oh, there? No. Close down by Com again. Right. And now V1 can counter. Beast mode is going to the back wall, but he's run out of boost. That one's going to come to the center. Here's first killer. And here comes first killer. Plenty of space, plenty of time. Can't oh. push it through off of the post. Typical there for the follow. Oh. But Beast mode pushes it back, and Beast mode gets the demo on AJ. Clears all that pressure from Phase Plan. Starting from. Square one and can't follow that one up. So many touches from Phase Clan in that blue box. They just weren't able to take it this time. First killer now opting to go left. AJ whiffing that one, but it works out wonderfully. It's first for the camera receive Torment though on the backboard. Carries it towards the opposite wing. And that defense from Torment saving version one and this 1-0 lead. This is the last thing that Phase Clan won. Version one with the ball and the territory and the pressure, but. First killer's managed to get hold of it. It just falls to beast mode though. Again, these passes not working for FaZe Clan. They've got one more chance. Can they make it sink? AJ's underneath it. First killer has boost. AJ is there, leaves it for Double first killer. Line. A demo, Sipical's trying to snipe away Torment as well. Version one, get the ball to it's each other. It does fall to it's a FaZe Clan player. Sipical is there, AJ's watching. Com gets it away. Version one equalized the series. But does that not sum up just the game style difference between these two teams? Firstly, we saw FaZe take it 4-0. They are one of the highest scoring teams in this competition so far against version one, who are one of the lowest scoring teams, only getting a 1-0. They all count as one pip on that scoreboard. Don't be too worried about it. But I love that that's just exactly what these teams have been going for through the entire tournament so far. And we're seeing it here on Sunday. And version one doing their best job at having amnesia throughout this entire tournament. Not remembering game one, trying to just even this series up, and more importantly, not remembering the entire season because FaZe Clan had their number. As we get a look at the Mobile One high performance replays, it was bumps and demos galore, and it was none other than Calm leading that spearhead for version one. Version one did so well to deal with that when FaZe Clan tried to respond as well, because FaZe got a few big demos of their own. That last 30 seconds, they were being bumped asunder <laughs> all over the, uh, the Aquadome pitch right there, but version one, 
they did what they do best, and that is keep the ball out of their net by any means necessary, and they've shown how they can take this series. I love just seeing when, you know, Kong goes completely off ball. He essentially just goes off script. He's like, boys, taking the headset off, I'm just demoing some <laughs> people. Like, that confidence just to go for it, he trusts Torment with everything, he trusts Beast Mode with everything, and the fact that they were able to hold that fort down, keep it to that 1-0 lead is spectacular. Game number three, though, and we are drawn in the series one apiece. Pivotal game three here, so crucial as AJ almost gets it off of the kickoff. Very reminiscent of game number one there, but version one able to hold that back line. And you were talking about that trust in one another that they have on version one, and it all stems from the experience that Torment has, not only in big moments, but just realizing how crucial every touch can be. It's been said by NRG that he is the first in the arena every single day, Torment. He wants this so much. That second world championship, he's still hungry after all these years. And you can see it in the team that he mentors. Beast Mode and Com at everything he could want in teammates. On the desk, a Chief said a little bit earlier on that Torment just is not the player he used to be. I fundamentally disagree. I disagree entirely. I think Torment is looking unbelievable. He is showing what he used to be. He is that defensive player. Not only that, he has added an offensive arsenal to that roster. The, the way that he is able to manipulate the ball around the pitch with his teammates in any position, he looks un unbeatable at times. You know what? I take it back. I do agree with the Chiefs. He's not the player he used to be. <laughs> he is absolutely better. He is one of those players that has been around since day one, and he continues that grind. He continues to want to get better and improve. And his mechanics have improved so much throughout the entire seasons of the RLCS and first killer gets a much needed touch on that back wall. He's getting some big booming clears this torment right now and it's allowing his teammates to come in. What can he do with this one? Maybe a bit more time on the ball until AJ closes him down. This is good from FaZe Clan. First killer has that boost as well. He's won the race versus Com and Com is still low on boost. Finally he gets some. Beast Mode comes up. It's a very neutral game three and I think that version one will be happier about that. Absolutely Jump. shot from Beast. Oh! Open on the back line and version one taking the first goal. Brilliant chance for Beast Mode there to finally receive that pass midfield. Torment, he passes it right on the nose of that young man. The fact that he beats down three phase defenders. The arena starting to cheer for V1. The marketing is working, CEOs. <laughs> yeah, you don't get 100% uh, goal participation oh. without some passes, but FaZe Clan, so good at those air dribbles when they have boost. They can't have their eye, you can't take your eyes off them. First killer. It's difficult to his side. That touch is heavy, yeah. though. FaZe Clan, they're really starting to slow, slow down any momentum they had from their Falcon series. Version 1 is snuffing it. Yeah, these touchers are just getting away from him. And as I say, that AJ with great ball control, air handoff the first killer, but Torment disrupts that play, trying to get involved out. And difficult can't follow that one up, but does get a nice little boost there as that ball towards net. Calm. Clears it to the back wall, and FaZe Clan starting to inch closer into blue territory, but big clear downfield as we go back and forth. Halfway through in version one, maintaining that one goal lead. We saw the win from that Oh, nice ball. pass. Come back to Torment. Oh, oh. Oh. Offensively, they are linking up like never before. But that is so good from Typical, though. He knew what Torment was trying. I'd fallen for it. We'd fallen for it. Everybody in this stadium had fallen oh. for it, apart from oh. Typical. Oh. And now down the other oh. end, oh. it leads to a massive counter-attack. One into the other. Oh. Face clan equalized. Huge own goal here from Khan, but he had no other option available. He's just trying to keep this ball away from first killer, and it goes towards his own net. But it's all due to that pressure that we were seeing from Face clan. It continued to build up, and eventually it was just going to burst. The first game now we see oh my goodness. team score. Oh. And immediately from the kickoff, Beast Mode! It seems the kickoffs are the story of these world championships. If you mess them up, you can give away any oh momentum my. that you build up. And that's going to be a job for Roldis. Your team have worked so hard to come back into it. It feels like the early series is just starting to get away from you. You get back, and then you can see that. Just got to take a deep breath after that one. Rare mistake from first killer, and a big miss there as well from AJ. But version one getting bumped off that ball, and here comes Beast Mode slowing it down. Calm looking for oh. Can't get it through, and typical pinches that one away. In the back corner, Torment is able to catch and send it off with 96 boost to begin with. But intercepted by first killer, leaves FaZe Clan able to pierce on that blue net. Typical up in the sky with 40 boost. What can he do versus Com? Gets it pinched off the corner and then sees a very juicy boost fan oh. waiting for him. Lovely transition oh. play. Beastmo gets the fake on AJ. AJ's floating into nothingness. Hook, line, and sinker.
Carter baits the defense out of the box. <laughs> and AJ put on skates, looking silly. Comes laughing. Com is laughing. That is something we have not seen anywhere near enough from version one this tournament. A smiling Com is a powerful version one. And after game one, he looked, as I said, just a bit dejected, a little bit like, oh, guys, we lost 4-0. What have we got ourselves in for? When that laughing hyena starts to rip roar, they're going to tear their opponent to shreds. Torment, can he get another one? He's on that corner. Beast Mode chasing AJ. Every version one player desperate for the ball right now. The momentum is working so much for them. A touch from Com is only as far as Face Clan, but Face Clan's booming past. As Beast Mode's already up, he's taking multiple touches on that pull and then getting a decent challenge as well. Torment gets it past first killer. Suddenly, it's almost 3v1 against AJ. Face Clan's game plan is in oh, tatters, no. but that could have changed things. But Torment was there. And first killer, he had the opportunity to go for that shot, but just did not count on the whiff from Beast Mode. I don't blame him one bit, but certainly a chance. And here comes first killer for the reset, and Beast Mode. Nice patience on the back wall. I think he's learned a thing or two from Torment as AJ just trying to keep that one away from Beast Mode. Beast Mode does get the boost grab. A typical much needed touch. They're bunched up on the back wall. Chaos on the back line and Torment extends the lead. It had to be him. It just had to be him. It's Com that does all the work there. Going for those bumps. And Torment takes the touch, slows it down, and slots it into the bottom right corner. And suddenly Face Clan finds themselves needing to jump out every single ball that is all threatening and they are pulling FaZe towards all of it. It's like it's magnetic, it's that gravitational pull and FaZe Clan, the fact that they aren't able to keep their composure in those moments is, as I said, Cole, an opportunity for Rolls did this to work in, work for that paycheck, oh, oh, and that's Cole with the fifth. That goal there makes it the biggest win, game win of this series so far, beating the 4-1 in game number one, just in case that was a mental block that version one may have had. That one's gone as well. Face Clan are going to have to talk this through at the break. And all three members of version one getting a goal here in game number three. But not only that, Beast Mode getting the hat trick. Calm getting the playmaker. The big players are stepping up on the grandest stage. And this started so oh! evenly. Beast Mode trying to go for yet another one. It does get blocked away. Chance for AJ to maybe get a consolation goal. But this started so close. It was a 1 all, then suddenly a 2 1 off the kickoff, then 3 4 5. It just counted up to FaZe Clan's demise. I mean, we said at the time that that kickoff goal that FaZe conceded as they try and get one more, they can't even get that. Come, I just love seeing that man giggle. As soon as that kickoff goal went in, something seemed to snap inside FaZe Clan. And version one, they are ruthless. They will continually take advantage of opportunities like that. It's what they've made a career from. It's the way they beat SSG. It's the way they've beaten so many teams so far. Their fans are having a party, and so too are their players. Virgil have played on this stage multiple times as well. You know, they've managed to take down SSG against all odds and against the fan base here as well. That is how they get represented here today. I did look behind me a second ago, and, and I saw Roldis signal timeout towards our referees and admins on the stage. We have got confirmation a timeout has been called for FaZe Clan as we look into Mobile One High Performance Replay. I want to see more player counts. I want to see that confidence from version one. Yeah, and get a live look when we just look right behind us at Roldis. He is pacing back and forth. He knows how much this means, not only to those players on the stage, but FaZe Clan as an organization. How huge would it be to propel themselves forward in this tournament? And that's what we're all playing for, that trophy that is right behind us. It's been with us from the start. It's right there, tantalizingly in front of them. And all there these players is. have to go up. They have to walk past it. They have to see it out the corner of their eyes. Not just the money, it's the glory. Base Clan are a team that are so desperate for that glory. That's why First Killer was brought in. He is the man who always seemed destined to win a world championship. It's one of those opportunities as well where you just can reset, you can go from here. And at the start of our competition, we saw that these timeouts, they actually weren't that effective. It was around 50-50, you know, you win it, you lose it. Whereas previously in the regionals, we were looking at 65, 70% win rate for the team coming out. Version one yesterday, they proved that these timeouts can work though. They, they did a spectacular job. It has been going up and up and up. I believe we're now above 50% win rate four teams that do take that timeout. Well, and let's not forget, yeah, FaZe Clan is getting this timeout here. We get a look at Rolled is, and you know, he's talking to his team, but version one get a timeout out of this as well. And they're gonna talk it over and say, what's working, what didn't work in game one? Because in this one, it was an avalanche. They figured out what yeah. FaZe Clan were doing wrong and capitalized on every single mistake. And also completely different to what we saw from version one previously. I said, you know, they're, they're very low scoring. They get like 1.1 goals per game. 
They got five. That is so out of the blue for them. Go back to your point earlier as well, Stumpy, where tactical timeouts normally have this sort of magic aura about them where you expect the team to win. We've had some shocking games following them. Falcons lost 6 1, I think. Uh, Version 1, when they were beaten by BDS, they lost 5 2 or whatever after a tactical timeout. Version 1 did not get two goals versus BDS. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. <laughs> we'll say 5 1 then. Uh, so the point is that they can backfire if you're not careful. But FaZe have to trust in Rolders. Elisa's here to Utopia. Beast mode is already almost styling. Yeah, and I want to see more composure out of FaZe plan. And that's what we just saw. First killer, flip reset denied by Beast mode. But he came off oh. that back wall. No double commit was there as AJ, you know, he was sitting on that back line. And we've seen double commits in this series already. And I think that was main of the one point one of the main points, I'm sorry, that Roldiz was hammering home to his team. Typical of a bullseye rotation there, which is going to make it really tricky for FaZe to spread out. The lucky challenge was good for FaZe Clan, but it does allow version 1 in. Typical still looking a little bit shaky after that moment. Beast Mode is there on the back wall. AJ does see it away. First Clan tries to get involved, but Com is winning these races. He has swept away everything FaZe Clan have tried to offer for the last two games now. Well, that was an interesting play there. They had a man advantage, and I'm surprised that First Killer didn't set his sights on Torment. He was the last man back, but instead, oh. First Killer went for the one of those big boost pads. And, you know, sometimes it's just like a moth drawn to the flame as version 1 trying to get their offense going here in good challenge, but no one there for version 1. Beast Mode, chance of attack is on the right wing. He sees AJ on the back board. But finding AJ is just going to be a path to you probably not scoring. He has been defensively wonderful as well as offensively throughout his entire competition. Typical working his way around one. Now it's him and AJ go. versus Torment. Here we go. Will this defense manage to pay off? And yes, it does. Torment's been doing that forever. He has never overruled in a situation like that. 1v1, 2 Double one, commit. 3v1. Torment doesn't care. On attack, he wants to get involved. He's waiting. Oh, he my. Beast challenge leads to it. It's actually a first killer solo opportunity. Torment is up. First killer gets to the side, AJ's there, typical waiting, phase plan improving, version 1 though, still looking dangerous when they get the ball, typical's pass could be great, depending oh! on who's coming in, who better than first killer? I love this pass here in the midfield as we see typical come off and the vision to see first killer and the communication uh -huh. on point, you got torment twisting and twirling and turning, but can't get the save and phase plan up one. His historical handiwork does not pay off this time as phase plan can sink one past him. Off the kickoff again, a chance that bounces low as well. Simple going high above the goal. Probably could have shot near post, but instead wants to go for a pass. Wants to be as selfless as he can, as they know that is how FaZe Clan are going to be thriving through this competition. Torment now wants to challenge off at first and Simple, but he just continues to move it past. Simple credited with a save and Beast Mode trying to flip reset, but this time not oh, paying off. Oh, come out to get that touch on first kill, or he was home and away. AJ's waiting underneath this one. Come up against Simple. Simple's touch. Central first killer up again. It's good speed from FaZe Clan. Version 1 doing their best to deal with this new and improved version of FaZe. They've managed it so far. Torment swallows a few seconds and gets some boost. And I like the game plan we're seeing from FaZe Clan. Typical's playing the number one to keep that pressure on and try and get those neutral 50-50s when first killer... Oh, what a redirect. And first killer, the man I just mentioned, playing the number two. And they're so comfortable having AJ on that back line for those just in case open nets to follow it up. Here's first, he's in the air again. He wants all control of that ball, but that demo opens things up for now. AJ slows it down, it's really good from FaZe Clan. An intriguing battle in the center of the pitch. First. It falls the first again, surely. Eventually, one of these is gonna fall. Typical's coming in, Com gets the touch. See what first killer could have done there, though. He could have bumped, Typical was there for the shot. The opportunity was there to get the second goal, but wanting to be the man who gets the flip reset, gets the goal against all odds. That may well have cost FaZe Clan one, oh. but they immediately come back on the attack at the behest of AJ. And Sipical, nice catch there at the midline as first killer, plenty of space ported to him. Sipical on the yeah. back wall, puts it down, oh. but Beast Mode puts it right underneath. First killer who was flying in out of nowhere and Beast Mode flip reset, pokes it under, but FaZe Clan, hold on. It's so intriguing right now, both of these players, all of these players, should I say, they just want to go solo. They want to be the big man, AJ there. On that backboard, dribbles it away. First killer is arriving. Beast Mode had to beat both of them, and he's all alone. It's typical in front of him, tries to lift it over the top of First Killer. Typical wasn't called into action. He may well be soon. Com is there this time. Beast Mode has got 100 boost, just waiting in the wings. When is his turn? It could be now. No, instead, it's First Killer. Boostless in the corner. Face on the attack, but with no boost to show for it. Oh, nice challenge there from Beast Mode. Com looking to go on. Oh! Beast Mode says, See you later. Sayonara. And Com ties us up. Com 
drops the bomb and manages to tie up versus face plan. Game four with 46 seconds left. He's a rockers on the orange half. Moraz Typical was thinking typical as as soon as he got up there, he was taken out of the pitch by version one. And now they bring the most recent goal into the last 40 seconds of this game. Torment is closing down first killer, who's left stranded in the center. AJ has to be Too strong here. But Beast Mode has been waiting. His positioning has been flawless. It is first killer that it falls to, though. Takes to this guy, wants to have a dogfight with anybody if he can. And oh! oh! Just bounces off the crossbar. AJ, though, he puts it in the corner. This will be drama all the way up until overtime if we get there. Torment slows things down. Up against first killer in the center. Typical is there. He's going up. Who's going to close him? It's going to be Kong. 13 seconds now. AJ in the corner. Beast Mode up against him. Torment going for those bumps. Another line up. Here's Beast Mode. He's taken out the game though. First killer has some space but didn't expect it. Kong is going to clear. Overtime's looking likely unless nothing. We go to OT. Version 1 managing to get that equalizer through the demo. You've got to think that's how they're going to be going forward through the series as well. One more, they find themselves on that series point in the semi-finals. Date awaiting the Beast Mode. Chance to shoot, Whoa. chance to score, but first killer is fantastic. We were just one first killer save away from three oh. version one match points. They may still be coming. Such an important overtime. Face Clan looking desperate, have to get this ball out of their half. They don't Sipical have up against Torment. That's a great challenge though from Sipical. They needed that big time. AJ and Sipical were sitting on nothing, and here comes first killer. Flip reset denied by Beast Mode. Follow up, a little slow from face plan. You realize they're starting to spread out even further, recognizing how important this match is. They don't want to go down three games to one, especially after already utilizing that timeout. They're in the blue half. They need to get this offense started. But still, version one, fresh forward. In this tug of war of an overtime, phase kind of just about brought the ball onto version one territory. But now version one have got it back. AJ's up, long clears. Desperate times for phase plan as version one combined. FaZe are currently on a three-win streak in overtimes at this World Championships. The odds are against version one here. AJ wants to get it past Beast Mode, but Beast Mode is in so quickly. Here comes Kong oh. off the backboard. First killer should be able to get it away, but how good is Beast Mode's first touch? Of course it's perfect. Low boost again. Doesn't oh. have his flip, Low but he's oh, going. He gets ah. it past all of them. AJ, though, gets such a key touch. And they're all in the same corner. They're bunched up. They're on an island, but first killer gets a huge demo to push this ball into the blue half. And the ball still at midfield. Both of these teams, back and forth we go. The tension could be cut with a knife. First killer has the oh. pass available. Beast Mode read it from a mile away. And typical keeps things alive for FaZe Clan. First killer dispossessed his teammate, but the pressure does continue for FaZe Clan. And it is not a baiting oh, no! It goes low! No! It is an equalizer! Who better than first killer to be the man to bring FaZe Clan right back into this series? It was looking agonizing for them. And it was actually a touch from Kong yep. who was under. Underneath, I didn't even realize. Oh, that changes things. That's why I was shouting in agony. Oh, it feels so bad for version one. That's the second time Combs had an own goal. No fault to his own. He's just trying to rotate back, just trying to put himself in position. But FaZe Clan tied this series up. And they still always count as one. That is yet another timeout followed by a victory for the team that has called it. We are pretty much dead on the 50-50 for them, so it was always going to be a coin flip. The fans came down to overtime as well. That is now FaZe going 4-0 in overtimes in a row so far. In the Mobile One high-performance replay, we just get to see how these teams stacked up. And I do agree with the timeout here from version one. You know, FaZe Clan just used theirs, but oh, as we get that look, I mean, you could see AJ was surprised, like, oh, okay, work was done for us, we'll take that. But version one, now with this timeout, trying to put FaZe Clan on ice. Work was done for them, but my goodness, did FaZe Clan earn it? They had yeah. to do so much defending at the start of that game. There actually will not be a timeout here in version one. They're up. going straight into the next. They're happy to roll with the punches. Combos and Philly needs it, despite that lack of luck at the end of the game. Is that a good decision from version one, Stumpy? Sorry, I was literally just looking at the crowd. They're chanting for version one here, chanting the players' names, trying to inspire so many dedicated fans in the audience. I'm going to be honest, Cole, I had no idea what you just asked me. Timeout, no timeout. <laughs> Bad idea, good idea. I think I'm okay with it, considering the momentum that version one were having. And come immediately. Oh, there it is. The Here it is. Gets the double. I ask you a question. The answer is yes. Great idea from version one. They knew what they were doing. Come. Oh. He's going to get a filthy flip reset. Beast mode is going to be there to put it away. A double, in fact.
What's the finish? Yeah, and AJ lets that ball get away from him, but you can't blame him there. Worst difficult to come through that back line. It's always chaos out of the kickoffs. He was probably pushing forward as he gets demoed there. Efforts of calm and torment slowing things down as AJ almost gets the read. First killer puts it on, and oh. AJ finishes it off, and bang, bang plays from both. An immediate response, 16 seconds to get one apiece. Trying to just do anything they can, and AJ stealing it on the goal line, then being removed. He gets to watch that replay from Spawn. It was a great challenge there from AJ, but Torment driving across your own goal line. Not the best moment of his series so far to equalize things up, but it's another good kickoff there from version one. And then we're closing it down. Beast Mode gets in the way. Calm has maybe got a touch on that one. Instead, it just bounces to typical. Then Calm gets involved. Norman is chasing all the way oh. down. It's first one with the next attack. Calm, he tries to Where is it? Beast Mode. Oh, okay. Beast Mode okay. finishes it. He does a stutter step as he approaches as well. Puts the brakes on and then punches the defense. I mean, Calm was just sitting there with the ball on his hood for what felt like an eternity. But finally, Beast Mode comes in, caps off the finish, and version one immediately put themselves back up by one. This is the exact sort of shootout that at the start of the series I would have said would favor FaZe Clan. But the way version one are playing, their mechanics so effective, their team play so dynamic. Maybe this is exactly what they need. They just need goals. They need to get forward. They need to attack. Oh. They need to damage. They need to score. They need to get Beast Mode on that ball as much as possible. Purple raining down on Wasteland. The chance for version one to go 3-1 up, and they have taken it. There is no way that Beast Mode has been missing that open net double. And with another hat trick, you might as well call Beast Mode Purple Rain because he's making it feel good in here. Or maybe we'll go with the Young Prince. Either way, you cannot slow him down. So far, seven of the 11 goals for version one. Typical means to get something going for FaZe Clan. Suddenly, they find themselves two goals behind. Where did that come from, they'll be asking. Not yet, though. Oh! Oh! Typical and first killer, and AJ involved too. Typical says bye-bye on the goal line. The save was there, but AJ and first killer oh. combine in beast mode. Where are you going? You ain't saving that just slaps him silly right across the face, sends him back to whence he came. And one goal separating the teams now, face time. These return goals have been excellent, and we've only had a minute play. This is crazy. Yeah, some games just exploded the line. And where better to do so than on Wasteland? Already debris is thrown across the pitch. And goal explosions everywhere as well. First clip almost gets past Kong. Version 1 need a teammate here. Beast Mode's coming in. Typical's charged it down. AJ's in. That could be 3-3. Oh! Three, three. The ball is just falling for the attackers every time. 3 all oh, And nearly 3.33 on the clock. And AJ, the fact that he just goes for that, just hits it hard. That allows fancy the equaliser. Defense? Who wants that? Who Let's just have all offense. Let's go for the all-time record. Yeah, it's starting to look like it could be one of those games. AJ. He's uphill fancy scoring every time he gets the ball right now. Torment, they need his defending, but maybe they need his attacking as well. Come, tries to take out Typical. Face the vibe for now. AJ's there. Who's going to get that boost? It's going to be version one. Unusually, somehow we are seeing a different side to version one in this series. Right now, they are out shooting FaZe. They've had around 8.5 shots per game compared to FaZe's 7.7. The aggression from version one is unfamiliar, but it is so effective. It's the team players as well, you know. Every goal pretty much has been an open net after their teammates have done all the work, swept away the defending. AJ, maybe he can go solo. Not much boost. Has to see a first killer. He does manage to put it past oh. the defense and gets the second. Ooh. Beast mode had no room to play with. Typical. Oh. How does he reach those angles every time? The net is his canvas, and his car is the brush. He just blasts the net, and my goodness, this, this is an incredible game. It's just offense after offense after offense. We're not even halfway through. We've already got seven goals. <laughs> what is happening? These two teams are utterly cutthroat. They are taking chunks out of each other on Wasteland. What did you say about version one being the most offensive team left in this competition? Somehow, they are just <laughs> turning that round entirely. They just fancy go mad oh with my. it. But with first killer, he's not just mad, he is angry. That's four goals in a row for FaZe Clan as well. They were 3-1 down in this one. They just kept going, stuck to their work. Every finish is fine in the back of the net with a flourish right now. You know, uh, it's rough, two goals down, but the way this series has gone, we might finish off 14 to 17. This is crazy. Two goals entirely possible in the second half. And yes, you're reading that right. Still, one half of Rocket League to be played is version one, trying to get one back immediately, slowing it down, and great push there from Calm to 
should take that ball away from first killer. This game, a brilliant advert for Rocket League Esports. Everything about this moment is perfect. And eight goals, just the cherry on top. Com needs to be careful, doesn't become nine. He's bumped out of the way. These bumps are so effective for FaZe Clan. But when he gets it long, Beast Mode is there. He's oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he sinks it first the defense. It's 5 4. A huge throw from the midfield. The pass coming in from Torment. That man doesn't need to dodge. Why would you? You can get a doink on Championship Sunday. That was absolutely filthy. The defense didn't know what hit him, didn't see it coming from a mile away. Just like that, Beast Mode right out of the kickoff gets the big boost deal. Couple go from baseline and they both miss. Huge oh. mistake there on the back line. Both hanging, oh. dangling. But first killer gets that one back towards midfield. So close again, Calm with a monster pinch. Torment's up, this could be a chance, you know. He's gonna try and close down first killer, first killer. Did manage to get it cleanly. Now we can go, Torment with pretty much no boost. Still gets in the way, beast mode. He's got a flip reset, oh. he's only got one goalkeeper. He goes for the pinch instead, and the an all-important touch came in. Huge bumps again, the pressure remains on. Torment can't quite get it on there. Now it's AJ's turn. Payne's plan making sure that they come back on that ball as efficaciously as they can, working around each other, round the clock. Oh, no big As that clock ends up ticking down, Torment though wants to go for a bit more of an attack. 86 boost, the direct shot won't find its way in this time. Big new communication there from version one, saw two players go, and I feel like the shot was present nearing one minute to go. Version one chasing oh. one, big miss, oh. 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 Still holding oh. off, beast mode, keeps them alive, Torment with the big demo on the back half, and here comes version one, pushing forward, trying to tie this game up. We enter the final minute, face fan currently leading five goals to four, a nine goal thriller. Oh, no one's home. With another no one's gigantic home. block, nobody was home until first killer went through the back door. Oh my goodness, so close. Version 1 gonna have to keep on coming. FaZe Clan gonna have to stay tall. Typical wants to get hold of that ball. Com is gonna be the recipient. Eh? He does beat Com though. His torment. He's got some boost. It's FaZe that are attacking in the last 20 seconds. Wanna get it past these version 1 defenders. Is it gonna fall to a version 1 player? Will they have one more chance? Will we get a 5-5 overtime? Beast Mode gets it to the side. He puts it forward. Who's following it? It's gonna be Com. Typical huge touch. Torment up against Typical. Massive challenge there from Typical. He wants a teammate in the center. They're defending right now. Face clan from the front. Oh, He's oh, 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 oh. It goes up. Oh. MJ reads it. All oh, the pressure on oh. He still gets these reads. Oh. And Typical says no. Nine goals is the most we have had scored between two teams in the main event so far. And I want to remind you two of something we were talking about yesterday. Do you remember a little stat where the first team to go three games in a series, they are currently 53 and 0 I through do. this entire competition? I do. Guess who has now got three games for the first time? We're looking at Face Clan. Will this be a continuation? Will we see 54 and 0 and Face Clan going through to the semis? Or are version 1 going to be that solitary one to buck the trend? You know, we were brought to a rapid boil with that game. Nine goals, but it's time to put us on the back burner in Simmer because version 1 all a timeout. And good thing they held on to it because after that one, they need to slow things down. You cannot allow Face Clan to get five goals in one game. One of the most Dominant teams on offense, and if you allow them to do that up there, there's no team in the world that's going to be able to beat them. And also, we, that is the first time we have seen the team that scored first, version one, not win the game, this, not win that game this series. That is a record for this. It is. That was a phenomenal match. I'm going to watch the replay of that in my dreams. That was <laughs> so much fun. Neo Tokyo, though, is next up after this timeout. It almost feels greedy that we have at least one more game of Rocket League in this series. I mean, you know, normally that's the amount of goals you see in an entire best of seven that goes right. the distance, right? We've already experienced that in this series right here, and more to come, Subi. How do V1 step back up again? Well, you, like I was talking about, you got to limit the goals, and that is exactly when they won. Sure, they won game three in that landslide victory, but the games have just been going back and forth. It's been high scoring, then low scoring, high scoring, then low scoring. So version one have done a great job at snuffing the flames that uh, FaZe Clan, I'm sorry, keep trying to build up. But right now, all eyes on the prize. And you can tell the smiles have gone away. It's yeah. time to get back to work. And yesterday, version one's timeout versus SSG was vital. They won after that. They are one of our winning teams after taking their timeout. And this chance, these opportunities, they only come for you once per series. You can only call one. Crowd slow clap. 
This may well be the final game for version one. The atmosphere in here is beginning to bubble to the boil. There is no better sound than the Icelandic clap than a crowd desperate to watch this series go the distance. $100,000 is the difference between winning and losing this one. You get 100 if you lose, minimum 200 if you win. How do you play among that? Let's see who can best. Face Clan start off this game well. You know, and I don't think money is even in their minds right now. Not with that trophy, almost sitting center stage. That's what they want. The dollars, yes, it's a nice consolation prize, but most importantly, no one has held that trophy in over two years. AJ managing to take Torment off the pitch incredibly early on as the aggression begins for Face Clan. As we said, they now find themselves on series point. They may well be moving through on Neo Tokyo, taking that underground train to the biggest event of their lives. Com able to clear that one away defensively. AJ to pick up in the midfield. He's right, just charges down AJ. That's so important for version one right now. Get some distance between the ball and their goal line because FaZe Clan, they will never give up when they have that bit between their teeth. First killer, look at his recovery game after the challenge. He just lands perfectly. Typical the same. Oh. Now AJ comes in, FaZe Clan are so oh. good. When the ball is on the floor, the version one survive for now. Beast mode in the defense, let's try and clear this away towards common the center, but typical he is up so far. That is so typical, typical. Dropping it down with Torment, able to try and double oh. that. Oh, AJ a for the double, but Beemo's defense. Oh, but they're not done just yet. Calm needs to get this ball out, does so. First killer, demoing Beast Mode, recognizing how integral he is to the success of version one. You take him out of the equation, it's gonna be hard for version one to put themselves up on that board. Lovely little fake right there from Calm to get first killer to put it into his own corner. That's the sort of moment that goals are made from in this slightly tenser game here on Neo Tokyo. No. Who wins the race? AJ, oh. three jumps about three years ago. Couldn't quite get there though because of version one defender. Demo again from AJ. Away. Exactly, AJ demoing Torment again, Beast Mode to shoot, but AJ takes it to the backboard and clear it into the corner. Torment again just trying to punish that backboard as if it's a, a steak, he's trying to just pepper it as much as he can. Torment up against first killer, wants to go for the player instead of the ball. Still mixing up their approach version one, they still have these demos and bumps in their locker. You know, I don't know what Fireburner told them in that timeout, but I think I can translate roughly and it's get the first goal. It is so important. Do not allow them to take the first step in game number six. Love that first touch from Com. That's gonna open yeah! it! Oh, actually for himself, he reads the bounce, he gets the goal, he gives me one the lead. Nothing but Com on that play. Receives a pass, it's barely in the replay. He manages to beat out two players, typical and first killer, bumping each other from the wall, lands on the ground. What movement from Com to open it up for V1. He was the only one that knew that ball was gonna waterfall down to the ground in oh. beast mode, holding down the back line. Danger for version one, but he keeps that 50 alive. Just a little bit of boost in the tank. He's gonna keep this one towards midfield. That was dangerous for version one of the kickoff and managed to survive. Come again. He double wants to commit. get involved with everything right now. He's making face double commit. Quick shot from Torment comes, wheeling round. He takes out first killer just when he's looking likely to punish them. Beast mode up to the ceiling. Typical can he win this race. Beast mode, he waits. He has all the time in the world. But AJ just stays stoic on that back wall. Oh, and a big bump there from Torment, but AJ follows in tow. Typical has to rotate back, oh. realizing the pass. Oh. Here comes Beast mode. Double tap is there. Oh. Is denied. AJ holding on for dear life, but still version one pressing forward in the orange half. Get more chance for V1 to just try and get that second goal. Demo. 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 Got this Typical removes him from the pitch. Three seconds there going to be without their incredible teammate, Beast Mode. Trying to go for that 50, it pinches high, yet more pressure. It's getting a huge fake as well when first killer was about to take a first touch. That's proven effective, he making missed. them just question things, but still a cool wait. They are doing that very well, not rushing in defense, not throwing away a second goal. They know they still have 90 seconds left to play with. That is so much time when you have as much skill as they do. And look at version one, they're on the back wall and oh, they're looking boost. just a little bit shaky and boostless. Very low boost, but Calm just got some. Big demo, another big demo. Beast mode all alone, but nobody there for face plan. Typical rotated out and AJ's up. Nice pass. This one's up to first killer, top of the box. And oh. Calm puts it into his own half. Now here's Calm, he wants to come forward. Typical's up against him. Calm barges through, allowing him beast mode. But it's fast killer, it's big to demo. Yes, again, the demo comes in whenever FaZe Clan think they have a chance. Version 1 strike. This time, Beast Mode taking out first killer, not just leaving it to come to go round on the demolition derby. First killer up in the air, wants to go over the second. He does so on the backboard. Will oh, be a chance? FaZe Clan take it! And typical, great follow-up from the pass 
from first killer. You thought the double might come out. Calm has to respect it. And by the time he realized it wasn't there or it was too late, he was flat footed in net. And FaZe Clan tie us up. Less than one minute to go. FaZe Clan, the comeback kings in each game. You can never cope open. up with that kickoff. Has left things open again. Calm, he's going to get the second touch, but he's put it wide. First killer, he goes up. So desperate now, FaZe Clan. Thank their lucky stars. They're still involved in this one. On the left hand wing. Beast mode, that gets the 100 boost, goes high, air draws, gets that 50, oh! it goes on, oh! it goes in! In the battle of the young newbies, it's beast mode that scores maybe the killing blow in this game. Just look at that one, you don't need flip reset. Clean challenges and look at Com taking control, talking them through this final 30. They have to remain calm. That was a massive challenge. Big 50 on the goal line. And Beast Mode puts them up by one, but they have to hold on for dear life. They have to keep the ball away from FaZe Clan. Every moment so precious. Game 7 is within reach. Typical up against Storm and AJ is trying to get come out of the game, but it's not managing it. Beast Mode, the challenge game still good. FaZe Clan on the attack all the way to the end. First game still Beast Mode. and the wherewithal from Sipical to pass it back towards AJ. With three seconds left, Face Clan equalized. But it's not over yet. We are yet to head to this OT. This kickoff, anything can happen from it. And the ball does roll. It's in play. Nothing finishes till it hits that floor. Torment wants the pinch. He gets the pinch. Is his teammate coming in? Com does. Beast Mode is off. Version 1 are going to get himself Com. a chance here. No way. Com no. against first killer. Torment thinks about coming in. Changes his mind. Next goal takes the game. Face Clan hammering that nail into the ground. They want to move on. They want to get into this overtime. Chance for first killer with 100 boost to face off immediately off kickoff v1 their boost is so low but their inspiration is so high big challenge there from torment and calm just putting that towards midfield but no one home. AJ. aj given so much space but calm gets that one away from him and teams continue to push forward 25 seconds already have ticked away it's already felt like an eternity calm pushes the ball back towards midfield redirect is on target but typical holds down the top line that ball gets away and first killer big challenge on the net and also manages to stay so close to it that he can get that touch and keep the possession torment leaving way to beast mode it rolls calm so dangerous torment. It is torment because who else we just keep having wonderful games in this series overtimes everywhere goals flying in torment just sneaks in there between the desperate FaZe Clan defenders and takes us to Champions Field. What better way to open up Championship Sunday, Subi? Job one is done for our series. Game number seven. We have seven series in total for today. Woo. Possible 49 games <laughs> played total. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what Championship Sunday is all about. Everybody in the audience, you better be enjoying this. These guys are putting on the greatest show imaginable in esports anywhere around the world right now. You are in the perfect seat. You've got to lap it up. And as we see this Mobile One High Performance replay, more goals flying in. It started off the battle of the challenges and then that oh. pass at the end there for the assist towards AJ. Brilliant decision. He couldn't quite get there. And Torment took us to Game 7. Looking at Game 7s, FaZe have won their last three. It is a big wall for V1 to overcome. These two went to game seven in, in the Winter Major. Guess who won it? It came down to FaZe. You know what? I don't care about the stats. I don't care about what they've done because coming into this version one, lowest goal per game, second lowest shots per game. I mean, they were coming in and the offense wasn't anywhere to be found. But guess what? Beast Mode laced up those Jays. Those purple ones are looking nice today and he's looking for victory. You might care about this stat. Version one, our 75% win rate in game seven's overall, which is 10% more than phase. But game seven, this match on Champions Field is where it all matters. None of it matters right now. All of these stats that have come before, all of these points that we can pick apart in the Bob numbers, up. all that counts is who can hold their nerve, who can get that opening goal. Maybe it'll be a blowout, perhaps it will be tight. Com has started well, and his teammates are bumping in front of him. And you saw just refusing to rotate out, just being a nuisance on that back half. He's so good at doing it on and off the field, chattering in their eardrums. Beast mode pre-flips, but can't find the ball. And Com, big miss. 
difficult put it started back line and oh. first killer gets a doink himself under the defender face plant up one how have doinks been so disastrously devastating this series so far he lands he sends it in just getting that little skim underneath the defender that was his job that's all he needs to do and I keep saying it, the stat of scoring first, it is good so far in this series. It's not just the doink though, it's the low finish yes. too. Keeping that ball along the floor can make it so difficult to defend against because you've had it ingrained in you to jump. They're going to have it ingrained on them to attack. They almost double it, they lead straight from the kickoff. They're really feeling this one. But look at that from Torment, allowing that. the ball to run to beast mode. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Great communication coming out from version one. All three members of FaZe Clan pushing forward. They realize their best attribute so far this series has been their aggression. Is Beast Mode neutral 50-50? First killer there for the cleanup, and here he comes, barreling down. Can't quite find a demo, but he forces Torment to jump up. Forced to get another save. Oh, and, oh typical push too far forward. It was first killer also whipping round in that blue half, trying to get Torment to jump. Then immediately, he heads back out. He sees his typical and AJ are both ahead of him. Come up against typical, gets it past him. He's been involved at the end of this series. He's been playing really well. First Glovo and AJ, they're always so consistent. AJ dancing around it. A challenge game on Beast Mode, who stands strong. First Glovo in the corner. Phase Clan finding that corner. Way too much for version one's liking. It's happening. Typical's touch important, but comes steaming in. It's only as fast as First Killer. Only as far as First Killer, sorry. And Phase is still defending well. Off the backboard, first to gets that flip reset defensively, gets it past the halfway line. Oh, what a tap with that lead. Version one of their push, and we've had two minutes gone. There's only three minutes left. Either of these teams, when they lose, they will be going home. It is the end of their tournament lives. That's what Game 7, Championship Sunday, it's all about. The pressure starting to build for version one, but base plan doing a great job at managing boost here. Great jump. AJ. Two go up, big double commit on the back line. Oh. Beast Mode had to kill time. He did it perfectly. Great ball control there from version one. Just look at that recovery from Beast Mode as well. He had Phase Clan barreling down upon him. His teammates staring at him, screaming at him, and was able to deal with it. Now come. Wants to put it past AJ, can't quite do it. Torment up against AJ, almost falls for Sipical again. Huge. Beast Mode charging forward, that is a huge clearance. First kill is there on the backboard, the boost, steal, yet the demo happens. First killer almost gets it over. He did get that boost deal though, it's gonna slow down phase plan. Torment gets that pinch, can't find the second touch, and Beast Mode gets the bump on first killer. It actually benefits him, he's able to follow up with a shot, and AJ slowing things down, just trying to wind down the clock. Still. So much time to be played. We're in the second half here. Game number seven, version one. Need one to tie this all up. The boost advantage for, for, for base plan there, helping them save that shot away. Final two minutes remaining with a chance to go. Face plan through to semi-final. Typical facing off versus beast mode. AJ backs down from that challenge as Com shoots it long. That's killer. Huge clearance is needed. It's not quite there. Com gets it on target. But AJ manages to stay tall. The challenge game from version one starting to be effective, but FaZe Clan is surviving so far. Typical has boost. He has a pass in the center as well. Can he get it to first killer or go himself? Not quite that time. Oh, big challenge there at midfield. Beast mode there for the cleanup. Here in one and a half minutes to go. Typical pushing this ball forward. It seems like version one can't break out of their own half. Typical again there for the follow up. Version 1 just seem to be scattered on their back line. Don't know how to clear this ball forward. And version 1 on that back line is exactly what FaZe are aiming to do. They want to pen them back. They want to hold oh. them down. But Torment, he is a beast unleashed. And Beast Mode, he wanted to be alongside him on that charge. AJ and Torment midfield battle again. It's, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on target. Oh, but just my. above the crossbar. We thought Beast it was Mode going in. Clear. Beast Mode didn't know he saw it coming. AJ, he's up against him. Great challenge from AJ. Round the corner with him. He gets it past Com, but not quite effective for now. Lady Luck really was on their side there on defense. Is it going to be on their side here on offense? Com, plenty of time, plenty of space. Demo on the back line. Oh. Com follows up, but Torment hits it away, and Beast Mode keeps this ball alive. Cleared away, but Beast Mode, he's going to continue pushing on this one. 20 boost on him. It gets sent long again, the final 40. Torment is underneath this one. This is so difficult. AJ tries to touch it down to a teammate, but no teammates are there. And here comes Com again, flying through the air. Air handoff to Beast Mode, but first killer going to slow that one down, push it forward. Torment there, great positioning. Beast Mode challenging, and it's open. Back line's there. Com goes through to the net. Come again, the opportunities are rising every time the final 20 seconds. Beast Mode, 60 boost, but this dream turning into a nightmare. Now his typical, that challenge might be the final test for FaZe Clan. He's boomed out the way. Torment puts it only across his goal line. Version 1 needs so much more. FaZe Clan just have to hold. Each second will feel like an eternity. Can they manage it? Not quite yet. Tough. Here he's coming in the corner. It's, it's dangerous. First Tough. killer Love. has to avoid the That's fight. It. And first, FaZe Clan are will too.
two. Continuing the trend, we have now got 54 and 0 with the three games lead that a team manages to secure. Face clan. That red eruption in the arena, that is the end of the path of version one, but that is only the beginning of Championship Sunday for FaZe. With that big victory, FaZe Clan looking to play up against either G2 or NRG, as you see, respect given across the stage. All of these players know what it takes to get to this moment. So much time, so much respect, just everything given. And for version one, all you can do is tip your cap to them because they played their hearts out and they started out as underdogs, but they finished top eight. And you really have to say so much about them. A miraculous run from version one at the most competitive se season they've ever had, picking up an incredible new player. Beast Mode, he came out, he shocked every single one of us. Donning that purple jacket, getting into that kit, and going alongside legends of the game. They have all proven themselves, and so many opportunities. They could have crumbled, they could have gone for it. In the high, Mobile One high performance replay, we just see, though, that on the day, FaZe Clan are better. Champions Field is always different as well. We had so many games that had so many goals, and at the end, it's the 1 0, the most agonizing scoreline where you feel so close, but FaZe Clan's defending again when it mattered. It's their real difference maker this tournament. Yeah, and this team had so many expectations throughout the season, especially when Sipical joined First Killer and AJ, but really, all of it culminating to this one point in time. Championship Sunday. They are not letting those expectations exceed them. They are just living in the moment and constantly improving. And my goodness, do they look yeah. like an unbeatable force right now. They've done incredibly well. That is the end of version one's season as we know it. 21-22, is done for them, but this is all about phase plan. Orb is on the stage, and we're gonna get some goss. Dickies Arena, we meet once again, and here we have the first team to make it to the semi finals. Please give it up for phase plan. Now, first killer. This one truly went to distance. I think the, the Rocket League fans, whether they like it or not, they may not want to admit it. They like things when it goes to game seven. It's the most action-packed. Obviously, it is Championship Sunday for a reason. But is there a reason why it went to distance and why you couldn't close it out earlier? Uh, personally, for me, I started off really slow individually. Like, I was playing so bad in the first like three games. But I think that's mainly why. I was like bringing the team down and then... But I started stepping it up after, so then, yeah. Let me close it out. I mean, roll this here standing on your right side. Your coach, the roll buff. Uh, how much does it help you guys here on stage? He helps a lot. He always keeps us in it, even when we're down. Like, he helps our mentality. Uh, he's just so useful. Like, he tells us what to do, changes what we need to do mid-game. He's just, he's a great coach. I mean, in that game five, I believe you guys had eight goals scored in the first half side. What happened? Why did it all of a sudden, all the goals just accumulated all at once? To be honest, I have no idea. It just kind of happened. It both kind of clicked for both teams and the action unfolded. I mean, we have the NA side of the bracket, as you know. And on the other side, EU versus Sam. Do you feel like if the bracket was more scrambled, would we have a true NA NA final? I think so, yeah. Okay. Speaking of the other side of the bracket, who do you think is the toughest opponent? Who will you meet in the final if you're going to go all the way, which I assume you will? I want to meet Moist. I want to beat them really bad. Give it up for Face Clan, and if you want to see Face Clan versus Moist in the grand final, could that be something? EU versus NA. Listen, we got more Rock League. This is only series number one. We got a long day. You better get your snacks, get your drinks, get ready. We got more to come. Next up, NRG versus G2.